They're called members of the greatest generation. And today, a 93-year-old World War II veteran who lives in South Dakota relives some very special memories here in Mobile. Yeah, he went to the USS Alabama, bringing back memories of a battleship he served on in the Pacific Theater. Our Steve Alexander joins us now live from Battleship Park with his story. Hi, Steve. Well, hello, and Ronald Vogel lived the life that we just read about in history books, and he was also a witness to a very important part of American military history. I was at Mindanao, I was at Okinawa, I was at Iwo Jima. Ronald Vogel joined the Navy when he was in his late teens, a seaman first class aboard the USS West Virginia, and a literal witness to history. Because I was a quartermaster and I spent my tour at the, on the bridge, I had firsthand view of everything that we did, whether it was bombarding or whether, whatever it was. Vogel said he especially wanted to see the bridge aboard the USS Alabama. He says he tried to put aside many of his memories of what he saw in battle until recently. Some of it was good, some of it wasn't so bad, you know, because it was the last stand for the Japanese, you know, and I, what, you, what you saw wasn't always that good. But one sight he won't forget, a famous moment during the Battle of Iwo Jima. I saw the flag being raised. I guess at that time you didn't realize how historical that would be. No, not, not, no you don't. It, but I, it's amazing when you think about it, seeing those guys, because I, I was using binoculars, of course, but you could see them raise the flag on Ebo. Vogel has thoughts on how the United States has changed since that time. I would say one thing about World War II, the country became one. Today, it has not been one since the war is over. I mean, politics have they got to be so terrible, you know? And and even the idea that the, pre, the president is still the president, and you have have to honor him. Whether you agree or you disagree, he's still our president. And uh, we forget that uh, we're so lucky to even have the type of life we do. And that's what we fought for. You know, the Department of Veteran Affairs estimated as of about September of last year, late last year in their last count, 496,000 American veterans who served in World War II are still alive. Reporting live from near Battleship Park, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.